hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can connect calendly with outlook so having said that let's just jump into the video so the sign up process is very simple you don't need me to you know uh, hold your hand into that process it's pretty simple you just click on sign in you add in your email your password and you're good to go so once you've created an account this is how it's going to look like for you you're already going to have a pre-made uh, event added over here now i deleted that event so that we can create a new event so to create a new event just simply click on the new event type over here and we are good to go now don't worry we're going to create a new event so that we can you know later on connect it with google so that later on we can connect it with microsoft outlook so over here once you do that they're going to ask you what type of event you're trying to create either a one-on-one -on -one or a group session i'm going to choose one-on-one -on -one and i'm simply going to click on create and then over here i'm going to write the name of the event so over here we can say like we have a meeting with this person or the manager or whatever so over here i'm going to write a meeting with my client so i'm going to write over here and then we're going to add a location over here so over here in location you can go with a one-on-one -on -one location in-person meeting you know or google meets or zoom or microsoft team or whatever so for this one we're just simply going to click on microsoft teams and it says microsoft teams is not connected so we can go with the integration page to connect that but for now we're going to leave it at that and we also have the option to ask the invitee to you know grab us so that they he can suggest a place where we want to you know held a meeting so for now i'm just simply going to choose phone and i'm going to click on update and over here we have the in you know description slash instructions for our meeting so over here we can write like you know we have to discuss about the payment system or you know discuss about the new uh, channel that we're trying to create or about a certain topic that we want to you know implement so over here you can go ahead and write something like that so basically or bullet points as well you know if you wanted to discuss some notes so we will like we'll go with payments over here and then we can also write uh, video editing and we can even write a new voiceover artist as well vo artist as well so these are the things that we would like to discuss in the meeting and then you can add the meeting link over here so this is going to be the link so you can add you know slash yuri you can add whatever you want and then over here you can add in the color of the event as well so i'm going to go with the yellow event and once you've done that just simply click on next and once it's saved we are good to go so over here next and then we can add when can people book this event so over here you can add in the date range and stuff like that so over here you can add like invitee can schedule or you know within day range so we'll go with the day range and over here let's say that we want to uh, you know book this event from and let's say 16th of may to 20th may so weekdays as well so we'll click on apply so anywhere between that time frame the invitee can you know book a meeting with us and then we can add the duration of the meeting as well we can add like 60 minutes or custom as well so maybe over here we can add like uh, for two hours or maybe three hours of meeting then we can change it to hours over here and go with a three hour over here and boom now they're going to ask you for your available event time so over here you can set a custom hours or you have your existing schedule that you will be able to create when you first log in so when you first log in you can have the option to create this as well so over here you will have monday to friday from 9 a.m to 9 p.m so that you can add that schedule or you can set a custom hour for this uh, special meeting or whatever so i'm going to choose the existing one that i created before and then you can add do you want to add timer before and after the meeting so if you want to add like a time like a notification or like preparation time you can do that and once you've done that just simply click on next and your meeting will be done then you have your additional options where you can have like other options such as invitee questions workflow notification and cancellation policy confirmation page and collect payments like you can add those as well you can add like questions for invitees if you want to but if you don't want to you are good to go so over here once you've edited out everything you are good to go so then you will have this link over here that you can copy and send it to your invitee or your the person that you're having your meeting with or booking with then you can then when it's time they can click on this link and book a time whenever they want and you will be notified right now let's go ahead and connect our microsoft outlook account so for that we're going to click on integrations over here and once we've done that we are gonna arrive over here into the integration page where we can find as well so over here we have a bunch of different you know categories and we have a bunch of different options as well so with this one i'm going to click on calendar then over here we have this option so we have the office 365 calendar we have the exchange calendar 
Outlook Calendar plugin or iCloud Calendar. All right. So if you choose Outlook Calendar, what this will do is once you have the Outlook Calendar installed onto your PC, what you can do is just simply click over here and it's going to ask you to download the plugin, right? And once it's downloaded, you are good to go. So right now, as you can see, we have this calendar connected. We can disconnect that or we can check for conflicts or we can add to calendar as well. So these are the calendars added. So we're going to add another calendar and we're going to add the Outlook plugin over here. We click on this plugin and we'll click on install plugin and it's going to download the plugin for us, right? And once the plugin has been downloaded, we are good to go, right? So just simply click on the download button over here and download the plugin and you can connect your account. You can connect it later, but since we are over here, we can go ahead and do that. So once the plugin has been downloaded, this is how it's going to look like once it's downloaded and installed, right? For this one, what you're going to need to do is you click on what's next and this is how it's going to look like. So this is going to be the installation setup, right? So this is going to be one, two, three, four. So over here, you can add this key right here that you will have the plugin key. You can copy that plugin key and you can open up your settings for your cleanly plugin for Outlook. You can paste that key over here and then you can click on save over here. You can add new events to that calendar as well. And you can go ahead and click on advanced and you can have like advanced settings for that calendar. But for now, we're going to go with that. Then you just simply click on save and you just sync now. Right. And then over here, click on settings and you will have all of your events ready. So once you have your Outlook downloaded, you click over here and you choose the settings and you've added the, you know, pin over here. Oh, wait, I didn't copy the pin. Let me just copy that pin and over here we'll paste that. We'll just click on save and then we just simply click on settings and over here we will have the uh, events that we just recently created on calendly so that's pretty much it nothing too complicated about that just simply you know go to the integrations and download the plugin and for this one you have to have outlook installed onto your pc so if you have like a microsoft 360 account or 360 suite then you will automatically get the outlook plugin so you won't have to download that individually so once it's downloaded just simply you know click on the download button install the outlook uh, you know application and once it's on downloaded you are good to go so over here these are the steps for the installation so once you choose the calendar you would like to check for conflicts choose which calendar new event should be saved to and then click save and you are connected right nothing too complicated so over here these are going to be the settings over here you're going to have so pretty much you know you check this out you know settings over here and once you've done that you're good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you connect your google your outlook calendar with your calendly so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye